Welcome to Chem 216 Quantitative Analysis. First, we will be talking about common glassware you will use in this lab. Here are some examples of the different volumetric pipettes. Here is a 5 milliliter pipette. It's important to note the information on the top of the pipette. The letter at the top refers to the class of the glassware. This pipette is a class A, which refers to the error associated with the glassware, which you can look up in chapter two of your Harris textbook. Next to that, it shows the letters TD, which stands for to deliver, which means this pipette will deliver five milliliters plus or minus the standard error. Even if there is still a small amount of liquid left at the tip, it's all accounted for. Sometimes the error can be located directly on the glassware. For example, this piece of glassware is class B, which has a standard error of 0.06 milliliters. On this piece of glassware, you can note that it says TC and not TD. This means to contain, and in order to accurately use the glassware, you must rinse it with DI water to ensure the transfer of all of the liquid. Next, we're gonna teach you how to use a volumetric pipette. First, you're gonna squeeze the rubber bulb and then place it on top of the pipette. Next, lower the pipette into the liquid and slowly release the bulb. The liquid will begin to rise. Once it is above the line, remove the bulb and cap it with your finger. Slowly release pressure from your thumb so that the liquid releases until the bottom of the meniscus is at the red line. To transfer the liquid into the desired glassware, make sure your thumb is tightly on the top and carefully release the liquid into the new glassware by releasing pressure from your thumb. And now we're gonna go over how to use the analytical balance. Place the weighing apparatus on the scale and make sure the doors are shut tight. When weighing out any substance, you must first tear the weigh bottle. You do this by pressing the O slash T button on the middle of the balance. Next, add the liquid to the weigh bottle. and then put the weigh bottle back on the scale. If you need to add more, make sure to remove the weigh bottle from the scale. Never measure directly on the scale. For measuring solids, we use weigh paper. You can fold it in half and then place it inside the scale, tear it, and then place your solid onto the weigh paper. Next, we're going to teach you how to prepare solutions accurately. For the transfer of liquid solution, you must place the glass funnel inside the volumetric flask and pour in your sample and make sure to rinse out the weighing bottle with DI water to ensure all of the transfer. For solid samples, place the plastic funnel into the volumetric flask and pour your sample in. This will ensure that none of the solid sample gets stuck in the stem of the funnel. To mix the solution, you must fill the volumetric flask up halfway with DI water and then make sure the cap is on tightly and mix 20 to 25 times. Next, fill the volumetric flask up 75% of the way. and mix 20 to 25 times again. When the liquid is close to the bottom of the stem, make sure to keep adding the DI water with a pasture pipette only. This will ensure that you do not go over the line. The bottom of the meniscus should be right at the fill line. 
Finally, mix one last time, making sure the solution is homogeneous.